Hello everyone and welcome back to My Crafting World. This is Anna. I thought I would go ahead and try because I've never made one exactly like this. So I thought I would try to make an Easter basket mini album. So the paper that I'm going to be using is this uh, paper pad from Crafts Smart, and it is a hot buy paper pad from Michaels. So I have used a variety of um, the sheets in here. So let me tell you the the what I'm using is something that I crafted on my um, in my design space, Cricut Design Space. If you guys want to see how I made the, the album using Design Space, just let me know and I'll do a crash course on how I came up with my pattern. So this is my basket and it measures uh, eight inches tall by six and a half inches wide at the widest point. So I did cut this out using my Cricut and this is the front, this is the back, and this is my spine. The spine is two and a half by five and a quarter. I've never made one, so we're gonna learn together. So for my, um, so for my hinge, I've chosen a piece of cardstock that's four and a half by seven and a half. I started at the one inch mark and I scored every half inch. We're going to have four pages, so um, we have 12 score marks. So let, let's see what that, that turns out to be. So looking at my scoreboard, I started at the one inch. I went every half inch. So this is seven and a half inches long by four and a half inch or four and a half inches wide. So on your longer side, you're gonna start at one, do one and a half, two, two and a half, three, until you get all the way to six and a half and that's where you stop. Okay, so this is going to be our hinge and I have prepared as much as I can beforehand. And these right here are the actual pages that are going to be, you know, the, the picture pages and these are just the covers for each page and the front and the back so how many of these did I cut let me tell you so I had four this is 110 pound cardstock so I have four of those and I have I have 12 of the covers for each page front and back and then uh, the front and the back for the front and back cover this one actually comes from last year's um one of last year's paper pads and i just liked the uh you know the basket weave so i used that one other than that all the other pages come from this year's paper pad okay so we have scored our spine piece and all i've done here is i did i don't know if this is picking it up but I did um, color the edges with gold the gold um, what is this the deco color premium prime primo um, marker so what I am going to do is I am I need to attach these two right here and I have not decided exactly how I'm gonna do that because then I have to attach this as well so I think I'm gonna go ahead and attach the um, gonna go ahead and attach the hinge okay so on my hinge on the back instead of putting my adhesive right next to this line I have put it on the outer line. So the I have four hinges. So one, two, three, four sets of tape. Now I have put the quarter inch, not the quarter inch, one eighth inch tape 
on either side there. I don't know if this light is helping me or not. Um, okay, so I have put tape close to the edge, not going over the score line here. So this will be pinched up and that's my first hinge. Okay, so let me show you where my tape is at. So if that's my first hinge, my tape is up towards the top, not towards the bottom. So the way I'm going to do my hinge, okay, so you pinch that one, you leave the next, the next one alone, but you pinch the next two. That's your next hinge. So we're gonna do this until we get to the top. And this is the last one, okay? So that is our four hinges. Let me move this for a second because I need to burnish these. I wanna make sure they're nice and flat on both sides. Okay guys, there is my hinge. Now, I need to attach, I actually need to do this part first. I need to attach this, but I'm not going to wrap the entire thing. I just need a piece that's going to attach this. So let me get that hang Okay on. guys, so I am going to use this uh, piece of cardstock. I've already put some tape on the back and I am going to put this down like normal, you know, just like any other mini album. And then it'll get a little different after I glue that down. Okay, so let me glue this down, right? You know what, guys, I need to, I need to put some wet adhesive on here. Okay. I'm gonna put this right in the center. And again, guys, I don't know if this is gonna work. I may have to cut another piece or I don't know. So there's that and then I am going to put this down and I'm not sure how far down it's gonna go I mean I, I know but we're charting untested waters here okay there's that and then let me put some glue on this side, just a little bit. And put this one down as well. Okay, there is that. Now what I'm gonna, gonna, gonna do here, is I, get, I did give it a little bit of thought. I'm gonna cut this down, all the way down to the gonna go across and I am just going to cut this right here okay I'm gonna cut this across and I'm going to do the same on the top the top I'm just gonna trim around the uh, the handle here maybe i can get under here there we go okay now for this part i wanted to go ahead and cut this down So maybe I went a little too high up with the with this part, but I need I need this section right here. So 
Okay, now what I am going to do is I'm going to fold this up to give this edge a finish because this is where my um, hinge is gonna go. So I wanted that edge finished. That needs to be nice and sturdy. Now I need a piece right here. And that becomes the side of my mini album, okay? So let us put one right there. Okay guys, so I cut a piece of uh, white cardstock at five, one, five and one eighth by four, and this is gonna go down right here, okay? And I, I know it doesn't go all the way up to the top, but the panels that I have cut are going to cover that. So I think it's gonna be okay. Yep, that's what I'm doing. So let's put that down. I'm gonna put that down I actually should use some tape as well. I don't want that to come off when it's got the um, hinge on there. All right, guys, that covers the back of our, the back and the inside of our mini album. I think that's going to be okay. So now comes another tricky part. This is going to go this way, right in the center. But I'm not going to tape these inside uh, the inside got uh, hinges and you'll see why in a little bit so I need to make sure that this is straight it doesn't look straight to me so okay guys so I have erased the pencil mark from the side and this is my uh, hinge so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tape again and I am going to cover the back side. I have flattened the front side. I'm going to cover the back side with some two inch tape to where it all stays together. See what I'm doing in a little bit here. And I am going to have, I'm going to put a small piece or a thinner tape, piece of tape right here. Because I want it all taped. I don't want it to, you know, get loose or come off after pages are put on there okay so here is my hinge guys there we go they it stayed together and there's a reason that I did it that way so I am going to put this right here okay
There we go, guys. Alright guys, there is our hinge. Stay with me here. Okay, that's our hinge. Let me burnish it down one more time. There we go, guys. Yay! Okay, when we put our sheets down, our covers, they are the same size as these. These are going to go right over the chipboard. Okay. So that actually looks good to me. So before we do that, though, I need to put in my pages, my album pages. So. The reason that I left this like this, remember there is tape between each of those flaps. I'm going to cut off just a little bit, just that fold line on each one of these. Now you could, you could use your, um, cutter for this but I needed to make sure that I put everything in there straight before I cut now if your lines here aren't perfect that's okay because we're going to cover those up and this is what I call a split hinge I mean I know there is another way you can do this um if you cut each piece individually but yeah for me it's just easier to do this way and all I'm doing is cutting that fold line okay guys so there is my fold line in the trash now each one is open now this way when I remove the tape I can adhere each one of my pages. So what I did, and I don't know if I marked them correctly. If you'll see, each of them have a little mark at the bottom. That is where each of my pages, the bottom of each of my pages go. Okay, that way it is in line with the, um, the book. So let me glue my pages in. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to remove, where is my pokey tool? Remove my backing on my tape. I'm going to add some liquid adhesive. And I'm going to add my page, guys, I'm on.
All right, guys, there we go. Those are our pages in there. All right. I like the way I can split that hinge and put the pages in because these pages obviously don't have the pockets like the other mini albums do. So now at this point, I will take all of my all of my covers here and cover each one There we go. So I'm going to do that, guys, off camera just because it's going to take a minute. So let me do that and I'll okay, be right Okay, guys, back. I have all my covers in and I like the way it looks, all except one because I wanted to show, uh, share a little tip with you. So as I was putting these down, I didn't discover this till I got to the third page. Um, I was, I noticed that I went, I was off just a tiny bit, but I think it, it's even hard to see, but I think it's because I couldn't see the white on white. So what I started doing was I took a piece of colored cardstock and then I glued it on there. So I'm going to glue the last one on with you. Um, this one, it looks like I went off just a tiny bit as well. I'm going to add glue to this and glue that one down. That is my last page. And I am happy. Guys, this was so easy to make on Cricut Design Space with basic shapes. If I see that this video isn't too long, I'm going to show you at the end how I make this basket and how you can make one too. And even if you want a different shape, you know, something a little different is, is totally okay. So see, it's a little bit easier for me to see this against a, a colored background. So I can get it perfectly even. There we go, guys. Oh my gosh, there we go. Finished at least, you know, the covering part. Look at that. I like it overall and you may be asking about a closure okay so my closure is not going to be right here the way it always is I plan to put a ribbon right here and put a bow on it and that will be my closure okay just like a basket put a bow right there now I think I want to put I'm going to decorate it a little bit but you know that was it it was so easy so fast I think it took longer for me for the machine to cut everything out for me uh, than it did for me to put it together i mean i the only thing i did speed up was um you know the the redundant part but um yeah okay guys let me go and show you how i designed this okay guys so i am holding my phone in my hand i'm going to try not to move too much but what I did was I uploaded a pentagon, okay? I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger for you guys. And then I also, in the shapes, uploaded a square, okay? So the square, I'm going to turn the square um, baby blue, just so we can see it a little bit better. I'm going to unlock this square, and I am going to make it bigger I'm going to bring that square I'm gonna make it even bigger longer I'm gonna bring that square down to the from from one point to the other okay and then I'm gonna highlight both of these together and then I am going to go to the bottom and I am going to slice right here slice so we are going to remove that this and this this is the bottom of my basket so i'm going to remove that or move it over to the side for a little bit i'm going to come back to the shapes and i'm going to get two circles okay so i am going to change the color of that circle to let's go with that baby blue again okay so this i'm going to move that for a second so this circle i'm going to unlock that and i am going to stretch it out uh, about right there I guess 
again, I'm not measuring anything just yet. So this circle is gonna come on top of this one. I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to make my handle with this second circle. Let's say that's my handle, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight both of them again and I am going to go down to the bottom and I am going to slice, okay? So I'm going to remove that one, I'm gonna remove this one, and then I'm gonna get another square, and we are going to do the same with the square, okay? So let's change the color so you can see what I'm doing, okay? So I am going to unlock this and stretch this out. And I'm going to cut this in half to where it becomes my handle. So <clears throat> that looks good, at least to me. And then you can highlight both of them together. And again, down here at the bottom, you would slice and then you'll get rid of that. You'll get rid of this and you'll get rid of this. Okay, so you bring your your half pentagon back over here, and then you are going to uh, uh, get yeah. Let me unlock it. So I am going to bring this closer. I'm going to bring my handle up. I'm going to align these, and then I'm going to bring my handle down to get rid of that gap. So let me bring it down. And then let me highlight both of them together. And I am going to attach those two things together. Okay? So down here, attach, and it becomes one. And then when you make it, 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 it will cut one solid piece for you. So let's cancel that just to make sure because I don't remember my other one having that line. So I'm going to highlight it again. I'm going to flatten that. There we go. And as you can see, I was off just a tiny bit right here. Um, and then, okay, so let me make it bigger. So I was off just a tiny bit on the edges. So you can make it bigger just to make sure that you are going to put every, align everything perfectly. So if I highlight this, I can come over here and unlock it. And my other one was six and a half. So 6.5. Okay, enter. And then... It was, uh, I believe I had eight inches, eight, zero, zero, enter. Okay, so that is the size that my, um, the one we just made is, and that becomes my basket. You can actually, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could make it shorter, um, But then if you size it the same, it's just going to stretch for you again. So you would actually have to, I don't know, make it shorter, I'm, I'm assuming. But anyway, that is how I made it in my Cricut design space. It was super simple. And then the machine did all the cutting. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this crash course on how to make your Easter basket mini album. And in the next video, I will uh, show you the mini album decorated and I plan to put some pockets and flaps in there. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Y'all have a great day. Thanks a lot, guys.